What's up, you guys? It is Kamari, and today I'm coming to you with a skincare routine. So, first off, I like to wash my face with my African black soap with rosemary oil. And when I tell you this stuff is a gift from God, it has done amazing wonders to my skin and my face. And I like to go in with my spin brush. It doesn't spin anymore because, you know, it doesn't have no batteries. But hey, it works for me. So I like to do that for about, I'd say a minute or so. And when I do it, I focus on my T-zone area and my chin because that's where I get the most breakouts. And lately, I've been breaking out a lot because I've been stressing and I haven't been doing this routine. But once I get back to doing this routine, you know, my skin is going to be back right. So I rinse my face off with warm water, not hot water. And this step is important because usually I would use a white rag because dark rags have dye in them. But today, the, we're washing clothes, so I'm using a brown one. I would recommend using a white one, though. So I pat dry. That is important. Do not wipe. Pat your face dry, okay? And after I pat dry, I like to let my face air dry a little before I go in with my freaking hurry up hurry up hurry up hurry up witch hazel yes honey that is the bomb diggity bomb yes that stuff has done amazing wonders to my skin as well so normally i would use a cotton pad but today i didn't have any so i use tissue so i like to dab that over my face mostly my t-zone area and my chin and girl I, I think i heard something <laughs> yeah i had heard something hmm. i don't know where those red marks come from i don't know so next i go in with my tea tree oil and when i tell you this stuff can do miracles but it can also be very harmful so you have to be very careful with the amounts you apply to your skin because too much of this stuff can burn your skin because it is very acidic so i use like a like two droplets of it on my face and then i still like to dilute it with water in the end so if you're going to use this stuff i would recommend diluting it with water first and then applying it to your skin because i don't want y'all saying that oh she told me to do this and it burned my skin no no the fuck i did not so you know my skin can handle it but i'm not sure if yours can so you know do a little test run on your skin before you apply it over your face so next I like to dilute the tea tree oil with the same warm rag. So I um, dampen the rag and I like to pat it on my face like I did before. Um, I have no idea what I was singing, but I was into it as you can see. Yes, girl. Slay. I think I'm going to do more. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, okay. Okay. I'm my own hype man. I don't need nobody. I don't need nobody. But yeah, I pat my face dry again because I want this shit burning my skin. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. That shit is some good shit right there. That is the Ambi Fade Cream. It fades dark spots. But today I'm not going to be using that because I used it earlier this morning. And I'm not going to use it tonight. So then I'm going to go in with this. This this African crack. Because that's what it is to me. This shit is so fucking good. 
Like, it's amazing to my skin, my body, my hair, my eyelashes. You need to get you some. It's only $5.99 at any local hair store, beauty supply store. It's $5.99, and it lasts a long time, and it goes a long way. I only applied a little bit to my skin, so... Oh, girl, that was my song I was singing. I, I think I was singing Medicine by Queen. Mm. Mm. Well, we not even going to get into that discussion about that song. But that song put me in my feelings. All right. So next, I used my Jamaican black castor oil on my eyelashes. If you need help with growing your eyelashes out, you need to apply that to them because I never had eyelashes. But once I started using that, my eyelashes started to grow. And last but not least, I got to put the Carmex on because you know your girl got to keep them lips looking luscious and full and moisturized. And that's it. I hope you guys like it. Bye-bye.